they did uh, remake some parts of the DS for the new 3DS one. Yeah. Because they showed uh, the fortress of what the blood bill's coming at you. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, Separating the retro forces back to remake. They did confirm Mario Kart for this year as well. They didn't show a lot of dates though. Um, they they just reconfirmed stuff for this year. Um, even though we knew about it before D3, they before D3 we knew about all that. But um, they showed off um, yeah, Mario Kart. Then there was um, uh, Super Mario 3D. Yeah. Um, Star well, first Star Fox. I think they showed first the Star Fox. Yeah, Star Fox. Um, they just showed more videos and stuff, and they talked about it more. Um, nothing, nothing too big on it. Um, um, I'm not a big Star Fox fan, so I don't really know much about that. Um, but they were just pretty much showing how you can use the gyro to move and some of that. And with the camera, you can like see you're, you're facing other people. Yes, the voice, the video chat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the camera, you can video chat in game, and like the your your actual faces, um, like video chat, kind of like you know how you can put Pokemon Black and White, so that. Well, but your actual faces, the actual videos will be held in different ships flying around, I guess, when you're in the middle, which I find kind of neat. The only problem I have with it, though, is the video chat, um, it does look really, really laggy. I will say that, like, the, pe the, way, the way people's faces were moving were really, really frame by frame. Yeah, so, I will say that, yeah. But I, will, I do like how, I do like how they did it, how with, on the ships flying around while you're flying with Star Fox. I like that. It's kind of unique. It's kind of quirky and silly and fun, so I like that. Um... Super Mario 3DS, obviously when you have this, this is their big title, big 3DS title for uh, the C3, they talked about it at GDC back in uh, March. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much Tanuki suit back, not the raccoon suit, not but the full-blown Tanuki suit. They did not show him turning to stone though, which I was disappointed about, but they did show a lot of stuff. Um, um, it, it pretty much like, um, it's pretty much like you took they pretty much took the physics of Super Mario 64, the physics and the uh, the structure, level structure, and then they put it in the level design of uh, Galaxy. So like with Gal with like Galaxy, you had like you're running on planets and spheres and stuff. You're not you're not flying around. You're not running on spheres and planets and stuff on this new one. But the level design is more like a level like in Galaxy, and then there are some side scrolling parts like Galaxy. Um, but the but it's on an actual like land, kind of like Mario 64. So I really like how they're doing it. Um, so I mean it's pretty cool. And they did show how you can like it showed Bowser you can like beat him in, a, in like a level. Well, I well I don't know. That was just something I speculated on. They they it looked like it though. Pretty much like you know um, when you face when you face Bowser in previous games, um, it's, you're not facing him in, in like a in like a level level. You're facing him in like a, an arena area usually. Like in Mario 64, you face him in the arena, you chuck him in the, in the bombs. And then with Galaxy, you fight him on just one single planet and stuff. But the way they showed in the trailer, um, it looked like you were. It looked like Mario was just walking in the middle of the stage, and then Bowser just encountered him, which which made me believe maybe you would fight him in the middle of a level, which in my opinion would be would be kind of cool. Use the entire level, use the physics and stuff while fighting Bowser throughout the entire level instead of just the Bowser fight arena, which I actually. I, if they do something like that, that'd be cool. But I was just speculating based on the way they showed it off in the trailer, but um, it's cool. But I'm really looking forward to that game. Um, then they showed Kid Icarus Uprising. Now this is the game I was really looking forward to on 3DS, and oh my god, it looks awesome. Just the, uh, they showed off some new characters for it, looks awesome. More gameplay, awesome. The story, awesome. Um, the story pretty much was saying more about, oh, you know, Medusa survived, blah, blah, so we need, to, we need a favor, well, not a favor, we need to beat her <laughs> again, so that. Then they showed more characters, like there was this one character who, um, who, um, who, who was, I guess, I guess he was fighting alongside Pit, it looked like, and he, he looked more like your typical, he looked more like your typical RPG anime type of guy, giant sword, you know, kind of darker and stuff like that, anime style, kind of cool. Then you've seen the, this other bad guy, I'm guessing he's a bad guy, because he, cause he, he just looked at um, it wasn't Medusa though, but it's probably it's probably one of Medusa's right, right hand right right hand men. But um, um, he looked like he looked like someone out of like uh, uh, he he actually looked like someone out of Dark Siders actually, which I found funny. Um, so the characters look cool, and then they showed off more levels and the design, and just the the gameplay's looking better and just better and better. Then they showed off um, uh, Battle Lightning Area. I think it was what was the battle? Was it three on three? They three on three. Three on three. Uh, battling arena, 
Um, you can choose your weapon, you know, what type of swords or bow or guns or you want, and, just, and then you, you, and then they weren't all just, they weren't, they were all different angels too, they weren't all just a, just a copy of pit. They weren't all just like, oh, here's the green pit, here's the blue pit, no, they were all different, and it's just, oh, oh man, it looks, it looks awesome. Um, the and they did, you know, they are going to use the augmented, um, augmented reality cards too, because they, they showed a whole set after that. Yes, they showed two cards first off, with one had Medusa on it, and one had Pit on it. Two cards at once, which I don't think they've showed that before on the 3DS, which I actually find cool, because that, that's showing how far the tech goes, and they're doing two cards at once. And then after, at the end of the trailer, they showed tons of cards, like, on, on the screen it looked like they were at, they were at least 20 or 30 cards. Yeah. There. So, and they were all different. So I'm guessing they're actually going to make booster sets of augmented reality cards. They didn't announce anything, they didn't talk about it, this is just what I'm speculating based on it, but that would be cool. Um, cause they did, they did sort of the, sort of the thing back in the Game Boy Advance GameCube day with, uh, Animal Crossing with the e-reader, how they had oh, Animal yeah. Crossing cards. Um, but the e-reader failed. I mean, I liked the e-reader, but I know a lot of people, no one liked it and they got unsupported. Um, but I, but it looks like they might be going back in that direction. And with the augmented reality, you know, that's something that, you know, both the 3DS and the Vita are using and, uh, and uh, it looks like one of those new technologies people are getting into, so I wouldn't be surprised if this time around the cards uh, stick around. So they, they, it looks cool, and I'm really looking forward to Kid Icarus Uprising. Um, and then the fifth game was one we hadn't, hadn't heard of before, um, but it was, it's been speculated for a while, but I know there's been rumors. Um, I, I didn't really believe it, though, um, um, but I was excited when they announced it. Luigi Mansion 2. Two. Yes. <laughs> and it's a new game. Yeah, not not a poor, not fresh. a remake. Exactly. And I love Luigi. I mean, Luigi's Mansion yeah. One is a very underrated game. I know not not many people liked it, but I loved it. And just seeing back of the vacuum and talking about ghosts and being treasure and they even showed like at the end, um, but well, not the end end, but it showed like like a mummy coming out from under a door. I think it was mummy. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was a mummy. And, the, and um, it's the same kind of gameplay too, like you see like the heart, you know, you turn up the light and they start off and they go, ah, da, da. Um, but they're not boots, um, they're like different kind of ghosts, like they're, 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 the, they're the red like bully ones, like the like gruff, and there is like these ones that like goofy and like like they hit him around. Well, they weren't, they weren't all booze in the original, I think, they were, they were yeah. some regular ghosts. Yeah, too, but, um, but there might be booze in some, but there is not booze in the trailer. I hope those booze, I like booze, but um. Yeah, booze are cool, yeah. But, um, but yeah, that's cool because now, and they confirmed all five of these games, as well as other previous stuff announced, all these games, all for this year, they got, that means we have Luigi's Mansion 2, Luigi title, got our Mario title, we got Zelda coming out this month, and uh, I'll talk more about Zelda in a second, but um, Zelda Star Fox coming out, with, which, which one was it, they, there was one that's dated for... Well, they didn't date any of them. They, they just said all of them are for fall or holiday 2011. But they did, they did say one was for September. I believe that, that was Star Fox. Yeah, I think that was Star Fox. So, uh, you need to plug in your computer. Okay. Um, but, um, but, um, yeah. So, so, yeah. But, uh, Star Fox for, Star Fox for September. They didn't show a date though, and then everything else will be out this year. Um, we already need, obviously, no Ocarina Time date, and uh, they did say. Now this is the part I was excited for. They started off the conference with um, with Zelda, the Zelda 25th anniversary, and um, and um, like um, first off, they had an orchestra playing, um, which is which is cool and all. Um, um, they they were doing like weird weird stuff where they were like, oh, play the, play the, uh, uh, getting item, or play the puzzle solving jingle, which is, which is funny to hear, <laughs> and then, um, and then, um, they, uh, they showed, like, they were doing the theme for Skyward Sword, yeah, for Skyward Sword, um, in our orchestra, and while wow, they were showing a slideshow of all the games, and in the middle of the slideshow, there was a new, there was themes from a new trailer for Skyward Sword, which they didn't show the new trailer in full, at their conference, but it was released online, and I watched it, and, um, Skyward Sword is looking amazing, it's a, it's a story-based trailer, obviously, that's how, that's how it was, that's, that's what I was expecting, because that's how they handled Twilight Princess, 
um, so that's Princess E3-04 was the first trailer, then another, then another which, which pretty much showed some gameplay, and then the second trailer showed gameplay at GEC at 05, and then E3-05 at the story based trailer, so I was expecting that same sort of thing, because we've gotten that pattern now. Last year, E3, first cover the trailer, which had gameplay, GEC in March, another gameplay trailer, and now, this year I was expecting a story based trailer, and it was a story based trailer, so I was satisfied for it. Um, um, more on that, uh, they showed more of that at the very end, they showed Link battling that, that guy well, that was at the end of the GD Super trailer. So I know, I know it wasn't shown at the last trailer if he was like a bad guy or a good guy or, or anything or something like that, but, but, uh, if Link's fighting him, um, pretty much he's a bad guy, so, but he, he looks interesting though, and the art style, they showed more of the art style too, like, 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 like with, in the previous trailers, um, it's the same sort of graphics in the previous trailer, they, 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 they might have been tweaked a little bit. Um, they might be a little bit more colorful now, but um, in the previous trailers, you could see the art style, but you uh, but you couldn't see it much in like the characters because you didn't see anyone besides like Link in anything. But now they showed off more of Skyloft, the city in the sky where Link comes from. They showed more characters. They showed this uh, girl who looks a lot like Zelda, but at the same time she looks different. I don't believe it's Zelda. They didn't say anything though, but I'm just speculating it's not Zelda because they're not in Hyrule. They're in Skyloft. Hyrule's the land of, land of below. And it wouldn't be the first time, because they showed it off as uh, her and, uh, and Link being childhood friends. That's, that's the way they showed it off. Like, they were, they were best friends. She falls in the, in the sky, and, and, you know, I, and Link, Link's trying to reach out to her, so obviously he's gonna save her. They showed the, the Master Sword Spirit, that was on the artwork from, like, two years ago, um, reaching out of the sky towards Link. You ride a hawk now, or, I don't know if it's a hawk, it's a... It's a hawk phoenix type of thing. Yeah, like, like a hawk, uh, phoenix type of thing, um, um, and, um, there was a purple one and a red one. The one you saw Link riding, I think, was, like, a brownish red one, though. But, um, you had, um, he rides that, and then you fall down, like, I guess, like, holes in the clouds in the skies, I guess, to get the Hyrule. They didn't show Hyrule, but that's how they showed Link, fall Link falling down. So, that actually looks interesting. I, personally, am only slightly disappointed, because I did want a dragon <laughs> flying, but... But who knows? Maybe who knows? Maybe that might be an extra in the game. But still, the hawk looks um, interesting, and I like the flying mechanic. That is cool. How you can fly around the sky. I just hope there's more to do. If it's just an empty sky, I'll be now that'll be disappointment. But um, they did say that this, this, this is supposed to be the biggest Zelda game yet, which is good because Twilight Princess was around 40 to 50 hours um for my first playthrough. So I'm expecting a little bit more. I'm hoping this is. I'm hoping this game will be maybe around 70, 70 to 80. That's kind of what I'm expecting. May, maybe 50, 60, maybe, honestly, I mean, I mean, I, okay, I, I, I'd expect 60 to 70. I would like an, uh, I would like an 8 hour game, but I'm, I don't see it. It'd probably be 60 to 70, I can see, hours for a first playthrough. Um, but yeah, um, they showed, um, what was it, like, they showed more of, like, the townspeople of Skyloft and all that stuff, and, um, and, um, like I said, the girl, I don't think she's Zelda because she looked like, she didn't look ro like a royalty first off, and she looked a little bit different than Zelda, plus the fact that it's not the first time they had a childhood friend of Link's. Um, like in Twilight Princess, Twilight Princess, they had Ilya, who was his, like, childhood friend or love interest, whatever you want to call it, and, uh, she was the one Link had to save in most of the game, how she had uh, amnesia and stuff, and he had to find her and stuff like that, but, um, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's not Zelda, I don't think it's Zelda, but, um, but I like the art style of the characters, um, I really like the art style they're going with them. They showed more of the combat too, which, once again, is just looking better and better. So, and they, once again, confirmed it this year. They confirmed the game's almost done. Um, so, can't wait to play it, can't wait to pick it up. Um, that's going to be probably my game of the year, because it's just, you know, it's all the freaking, it looks amazing. Um, then they confirmed, um, um, they did say for Ocarina of Time, they didn't show a new trailer, but there was a new E2 trailer that, that was shown online. Um, nothing really new. They didn't show any more new features. Just re they, they just re-announced stuff. Yeah, you got Master Quest, and you got this and that, and some of that. And then they showed, um, they said, um, for the first people who buy it and who register on Club Nintendo, you will get, um, the, the, uh, soundtrack CD free, which is amazing. So I'm going to go out and pre-order it, uh, today, actually. Um, even though I, I still don't have a, I still don't have a 3DS yet, but I'll have one soon because, you know, I just got a job at some point. Um, yeah, but, uh... <laughs>